Now, once again, this, uh, the headlines this week have been dominated by the fight over immigration reform. Everybody talking about immigration reform. It's a big deal. On Monday, millions of legal and illegal immigrants held rallies and marches across America as President Bush's immigration reform bill stalled in Congress. Well, I thought we'd take just a few minutes to explore this controversial social issue. So let's start by talking with the man himself, the man at the center of, uh, of this issue, President George W. Bush. Let's get him in here. Welcome to the uh, welcome to the show, Mr. President. Hey there, Conan the Cobb. <laughs> yeah, good, good nickname, sir. Yeah. Instead of corn. Yeah, that's funny. Yeah. <laughs> On the Cobb, because of Conan. That's right. I get it. Okay, sir. Let's talk about this. The immigration crisis. Bring it on. <laughs> or as I like to say, bring it on. <laughs> You get it? Yeah, I got it. You Bring it one. What I was yeah. <laughs> Threw in a little Espanol. Yeah. <laughs> That's Spanish for Spanish. That's great. Okay. But Conan, you got to understand, as far as immigration, I have the greatest respect and empathy for the millions of immigrants struggling in this country. You do? I do. I know what it's like to be far from home in a strange place where no one thinks you belong, and they speak and read a language you don't understand. Mr. President, when were you in that situation? I got two words for you. Yale. <laughs> I see. Right. Habla understand. Yeah, I habla understand. That's Spanish for I habla understand. That's right. Yeah, okay, now I see. Now, the fact is, sir, the immigration issue is one that's really close to your heart, isn't it? That's right. Thanks for bringing up my heart. Yeah, your heart. People don't talk enough about my heart. Mm -hmm. Conan, we need to be proud of the immigrants in this country. These people come here at great personal risk to do all the jobs that we can't send to India. Yeah, well... <laughs> Well, sir, Very sir, important stuff. It's stuff. Yeah, but sir, you say you're proud of immigrants in this country, and yet you advocate sealing our borders. That's right, Conan. In fact, we're going to build a wall around the entire country, starting with the eastern seaboard. <laughs> but wait a minute, sir. You don't need a wall for the east coast. It's bordered by the Atlantic Ocean. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, then, mission accomplished. All right, that's great. You can, you, can, you can put that away now. That's fine. Now, Mr. President, do you think it's appropriate that you and other Republicans are framing the immigration issue as part of the war on terror? All right, let me tell you something, chili cone coney. Okay. It is, it is a part of the war on terror. Hmm. That's why it's important that we distinguish between those people who are seeking freedom and those who are seeking freedom because they hate freedom. These freedom-seeking freedom-haters <laughs> must be sought out before they seek to end the freedom they so dearly seek. Yeah. Sir, I'll give you $50 if you can say that sentence again. You're on. These freedom heba jamba jumba Yeah, okay. Pick the pick of pickle peppers. Yeah, that's very nice. Come on, that's worth 20 <laughs> All right, we'll give you 20 bucks. Right. Thank you. President. All right, now let's uh, speak to a uh, let's speak to a public official who's been particularly vocal on the subject of immigration. Guess so who it is? Me. Uh, yeah. Let's talk already. I'm here to discuss yes. the immigration. Immigration. All right, Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger. Thank you for being here. Yeah. Colin, I want to weigh in on the immigration issue too. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Here's my take. Okay, let's hear your take. We have to keep out the foreigners. <laughs> really? Yeah. You do because, because they can't speak the Englishes. <laughs> and Conan, the addiction, it can only be described as Flagengrappenstein. Okay, okay. <laughs> what does that mean? It means that these people lack the basic Vlasotruden to achieve the Grubensnitzen. Oh, for God's sake, that is, that is so stupid. You're so stupid. No. <laughs> and you're striking Kraken. Oh, okay. Well, Arnold, uh, am I, uh, okay, am I to, uh, 
That was just groaning at you the end. You heard me? <laughs> yeah. Oh. I love it. All right. Almost did the Heimlich on you. So, Arnold, <laughs> am I to understand that you do not support immigration? Oh, no, 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 no. Don't get me wrong. I very much admire the people who try so desperately to get into this country. You do, you do. Yeah, admire yeah, them. yeah, of course. Yes. These are people who risk life and limb, swim across rivers, crawl through the hand dug tunnels, and give up everything they had just so that their children might one day see my all time smash holiday classic jingle all the day. <laughs> Don't you understand, Conan? It's the American dream! That is, that is not... Jingle all the way! That is not the American dream. You're not the American dream! Oh, good one, yeah. <laughs> Can we please... We, let's elevate this conversation. Can we talk about yeah. immigration policy? Yeah, yes, we can. Okay, good. Sure. I elevate. Think, okay, how do you feel about the idea of putting up a fence around the Mexican border? No! A fence around the border? This idea is laughable. Ha! 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 Yeah, that's laughing, yeah. Yeah! If we really want to keep America safe, we must build a fence around the future. Why do we need a fence around the future? That's where the real enemies are. Our future is ruled by an advanced race of unstoppable mechanized immigrants. For God's sake. Conan, these China bots and Mexiborgs We'll come here in time machines, clone our jobs, and beam them back to the third world mothership. What, China bots and Mexibors? Yeah! <laughs> and don't forget about the burden these uninsured Mexibors put on our healthcare system. Are you saying cyborgs need healthcare? Mexiborgs do. They're poorly made. Remember, they're from Mexico. Oh, for God's <laughs> sakes, Arnold. But don't worry, Conan. There's still time. Time for what? There's still time. I, I, to send me into the future. I will disguise myself as a Mexiborg and go by the name Raul 5000. I will hang out by the time machines and say things like, hey guys, it's pretty nice here in the future. No need to go back to the present. And then they'll say, don't you mean the past? And I'll say, why did I call it the present? My mistake. And they'll say, he's from the past, get him, and then I'll tear off my virtual poncho, take out my twin Gatlin guns, blow all the Mexiborgs and China bots away in slow motion, take the cigar out of my mouth, turn to the camera and say, now that's a blast from the past. You always pull it off. Thanks for being here, Governor. We'll be right back. Julia Louis-Dreyfus is here. Stick around.